scholars have attempted to decipher the code of horse ancestors through a variety of methods, including archaeology and genetic research. We've seen how these ancestors' fates differed greatly. Tarpon and the forest horse became extinct as human society advanced, and the Chevalsky's horse is lucky to survive today. Human beings, as the most advanced intelligent organism on the planet, have introduced challenges and threats to the life and living environments of other organisms. This has prompted us to consider whether humans must infringe on the interests of other species to survive. What is the boundary between survival and development? 